Hey y'all, welcome back to another home decor video. I'm excited because I got some new stuff to show y'all. We got some new home decor. So I'm going to jump right in because I just want to, I'm excited. I want to show y'all all the new stuff. <laughs> okay, so one of the things I ordered um, was this chair. I'm looking for new dining chairs and I am, like I want them to be cute and like aesthetic and um, visually interesting. But there are some things I don't like about this particular chair. One, it is really stiff. Two, the back is super low. So like it's not the most comfortable to sit in, which could potentially be a good thing if you really don't want people sitting in your dining room chairs for too long. But there are a lot of areas in my house that I don't really want people sitting for too long in. <laughs> and I don't really want the dining chairs to be that too i want them to be structurally interesting i want them to you know visually be appealing i want them to be comfortable and i want them to fit well with the table these do fit well at the table they look nice but i feel like they could be a little bit wider um and also feel like when you sit in the chair and you push yourself up to the table it's your legs are like barely making it under the table so it's just not the most comfortable sitting situation when you're at the table for me anyway, but I got some thick thighs. So uh, I might not be the right benchmark to use, but the seat height could be just a little bit lower. That would make the back higher, but it would also make it easier to get completely under the table. And another thing I don't like about this particular chair is that it has zippers down the back of the chair. Um, so like all three legs have zip, the back leg has zippers on both sides and uh, the front, the side legs have zippers on the back of the leg, which you can see that <laughs> when you're approaching the chair, because um, obviously you're approaching the back of the chair, not the front of the chair. So, and then you're gonna pull it out to sit down and you can see it and I just don't like that. So yeah, this particular chair is gonna go back to Amazon. I'm not gonna keep it, but um, I'm gonna keep looking. I'll probably keep ordering different chairs until I find the one, the perfect one, and then we will order six to eight chairs and we'll be done with the dining room or a breakfast room table because that has been such a challenge finding nice chairs for that now moving on to another dining room slash kitchen find i finally 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 <laughs> found a counter stool that i love i was going back and forth about if i should order higher end or uh, more affordable counter stools because i just like fabric i like the texture of fabric i like the color of, I, I like the color different colors that you can get I like the variety and the way the fabric looks against the harder surfaces like wood and metal I just think it's such a nice contrast and I just love that so um I knew that I wanted fabric counter stools however I have four kids so that is challenging to find something that is fabric and kind of fits my aesthetic but also is suitable for kids that are going to be eating on these things every single day so I was like having a hard time with um kind of reconciling that like should I get what I want should I get something that's more practical should I try to find a mixture and you know like a happy medium between the two and what I wound up finding finding was I feel like a happy medium so the frame is wood but the cushion and the back are fabric and it was also on the affordable side, very affordable actually for um, a counter stool. And I'm so happy with it. This is from Wayfair. Um, everything's gonna be in the description box and or and or in my Amazon storefront. The first chair was from Amazon and I'll put it in my storefront too, just in case anyone wants it so it's easy for you to access it. But yeah, so that's from Amazon, but the counter stool is from Wayfair. And y'all, when I say it was affordable, it was like under $200. So yeah, link below, check it out. If you like it, grab it because I don't know how long it's gonna be in stock. And another thing I did kind of as a precaution because it is fabric is I ordered a protection plan for, for it. And my plan was to just order one chair at a time, which is why I only have one. 
And that way, if I like it, I can order more and I don't have to worry about sending three chairs back because I need three counter stools total. But it is so cute. I love, it's so comfortable. It's at least 20, 22 inches wide. So it's very comfortable even for you have larger a larger bottom half, you're going to be comfortable sitting in this chair. The back pivots. So if you want to lean back, it will move with you. If you want to sit up, it works for that too. It's just really, really comfortable. The positioning of the armrests, how they're kind of slanted or sloped down, makes it super easy and like comfortable for you to sit there for long periods of time. I actually worked from there yesterday. And it's just really, it's giving. <laughs> so I love, love, love it. I already ordered two more. So I'm completely done with counter stools and I'm so excited. Um, I think I am going to scotch guard them, although I don't know if that actually does anything. But yeah, love it. So finally got counter stools. That's one more thing I can tick off my list. <laughs> the next thing I found was a coffee table. So if y'all have been here for a while, you know I've been, um, the one I was kind of stuck on for a really long time was the Heston coffee table from RH. I had it in my cart. I'd already gone into RH, talked to one of the sales associates, and I was like ready to buy it. But I just wanted to make sure because I have to pay a membership fee for RH and because I have to pay shipping for RH, which is also almost like $300 or something, I wanted to make sure that when I purchased, I got everything I wanted from RH in that one order so I wouldn't end up paying multiple shipping fees. So, like I said, I was like ready to go on the Heston because it fits the aesthetic in my living or my uh, family room so well, which is right here. We have this huge stone fireplace. And it has the grays, it has a few like brown tone, natural brown tones in the stones. So I thought that, you know, the Heston has that wood base, but it also has the, the concrete top. So it's bringing in the grays, it's bringing in some of the browner tones, but like neutral brown tones. And I just thought it would look really good in my family room. But <laughs> like I was literally about to order it and I'd gone through the whole website, looked at all the lighting because I was really trying to decide what pendant lights I wanted above our island, but I couldn't narrow it down. And I was like, I don't know if I want to keep waiting because I've been looking at this table for almost a year. So I don't know if I want to keep waiting for that or if I should just like go ahead and order it. And if I eventually find lights on there that I like, blah, blah, blah. if I eventually find lights on there that I like, I can always go back and order it again. But like, I was like, girl, you don't need to be paying two, four, six, eight, ten, a thousand dollars for shipping if you could just order it all at one time and only pay for the shipping one time. Or delivery not shipping because it's actually white glove delivery but <sighs> anyway all that all things considered um i yesterday or a couple days ago i put uh the i just googled heston dining or heston coffee table rh and this table popped up y'all at z gallery so i was like ooh, that is even cuter and the thing I love is like all the tables that I have so far have a, uh, even though they're different colors, they all have the same theme. The Heston uh, coffee table had the same theme with the crisscross legs at the bottom. My dining table has it and my little table right here also has it. So they all, even though they're different textures, different tones, different colors, they all have that common theme of that, the crisscross legs at the bottom. And I just love that. Like I love the, con the continuation of that theme with different textures and metals and colors and it's just a vibe. So I was like, yes, I love this. So I was like, so I typed it in and then the Z gallery table came up and I was like, Ooh, that is so cute. And I was like, if I was doing metal, silver was to me the better choice than gold. I'm not a huge gold person. So I love the fact that it has the wood tones, but it also has the silver and it's just kind of really interesting visually more interesting than the heston dining uh, coffee table it's just so pretty so i love it i'm like i need it let's do it so yeah i have it in my cart i was i showed it to bernie um my husband i was like which one do you like better he liked the one at z gallery better than the one at rh i think i like the one at z gallery better than the one than i like the one at rh i went on tiktok found somebody with that exact coffee table from z gallery and it looks so good in person like in that video I was like oh my gosh yes so here's the thing <laughs> I put it I had it in my cart for the last two days I tried to order it this morning but then I realized delivery is $200 so now I'm like I don't know why I thought it would be like Amazon where you just order something and then you know it's free shipping or shipping is 
thirty dollars. Like it's not. I thought it wouldn't be crazy. I didn't think it would be RH Pottery Barn delivery fees. I didn't think it would be that. I don't know why I didn't think it would be that, but I did not think it would be that. So I was also looking at another uh, at a couch on Z Gallery because Bernie really wants a recliner in our bedroom sitting area, and I really want stylish. So they have. Let me slow down, y'all. I'm like. I got too many things going on in my mind, but I want a nice, if we're going to do a recliner, I want it to be stylish and like really pretty to look at. And Z Gallery has some really, really nice recliners, like uh, reclining sectionals. And you can just kind of, it's kind of modular in a way where you can choose pieces and build your own. So you can do a corner piece, you can do, you know, a left and a right. The left and right pieces are recliners, and then you can do an armless part that is not a recliner. I don't believe you know you can build it so our, the space that we have to work with in our sitting room is 111 inches most sectionals are in the 120 130 range which makes it hard to find a sectional that would work in the space but being able to build it means that you can you know make it as big or as small as you want and kind of create what you need so that I love that's where we are I'm still kind of looking at it trying to decide if that's what we should do if we should order that and that is going to hold up my Z Gallery order <laughs> because I need to, you know, narrow it down. I really do not want to order that couch without seeing it in person and sitting on it and all that. So that leads me to needing to go to Z Gallery in person. First of all, I need to call them. Um, it's 1045-ish right now, almost 11. They open at 11. There's only one Z Gallery store in my area, which is not even really in my area because I'm in Virginia it's in Maryland and it's not even like right across the bridge in Maryland. It is in Columbia, which is almost to Baltimore. So yeah, it ain't close. But that's the only option I have because that's the only Z Gallery store anywhere near me. Uh, there used to be one in Tyson's, but it's no longer there. They closed it permanently, so I cannot go there. I have to go to Columbia if I want to actually see the couch. But I need to call and find out if they actually have the couch first. And then if they have it... Hopefully they also have the coffee table. I can go and look at both at the same time. And I can also just see what else they have in the store. Uh, sit on everything. See how everything is looking. And then I can go ahead and order everything at one time. So that's where we are right now. Uh, I'm going to call them at 11. I'm going to see if they have the items that I want and, uh, on the floor or in the store. And I will order them all at once if I like them. And then we'll go from there. Now switching gears a little bit to Cody's room, um, she has, well first of all she got a new duvet cover which I need to show y'all because it's been a minute since we did like a full on home update video where I showed y'all like everything new that I got. Um, and I used to show y'all like as I got things because I was ordering stuff almost every day and that's not been the case recently. So her theme in her room is going to be cottage core. She wants like earthy um natural she likes like them little cute mushrooms and the greens and all that kind of stuff so that's the theme just so you know so everything will make sense and we were in tj maxx yesterday because my son works at tj maxx my oldest son oh there's a hummingbird outside the window there's hummingbirds here and i see them almost every day um but yeah so this is the painting or uh textile that we got for her yesterday and it is so cute like how cute is this so this was uh, $30 at TJ Maxx they had two of them so I got two in um, different kind of prints it's not a print but it's a textile so which just means it's textured it's like kind of like embroidered so here is the other one this is what they look like side by side so I'm thinking these are probably like the perfect size to put above her couch in her room. So yeah, we're going to see how these look probably before the weekend is over. Today is Thursday. I'm off work today. I'm off. Actually, I have a five day weekend because I'm off on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because this weekend is Labor Day. I don't know exactly which day is Labor Day, but we're off until Tuesday so yeah I'm gonna try to make the most of it and get things done 
and yeah so that's all i got for her room with the exception of her new duvet cover which is already on her bed i need to pack up this chair and take it back to ups because it needs to go back to amazon and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that i have that's new and i don't believe there is so i'm sitting in bed editing another video and i just realized that i lied because <laughs> we do have another home decor item which is this lamp or chandelier or fandelier so there's an ongoing debate <laughs> in my house about form versus function like i will choose form every time over function because most most times because i just want it to look good like i care about how it looks my husband cares about how things function so he wanted a ceiling fan in our bedroom i wanted a chandelier so the compromise was this chandelier we got this from amazon it has a remote control it has adjustable lights so you can go from cool to cool to warm lighting you can also obviously use it as a fan at night and it's been coming in clutch because our duvet is so warm that we'll like we be sweating at night <laughs> so having the option to turn on a fan above us is actually really helpful and it actually works really well even though it's kind of small um it's big enough like it serves the purpose i don't think it needed to be huge um, but of course, I just love the way it looks. It glistens. He was able to install it easily. And yeah, it's directly above our bed. And it does what it needs to do. So I love it. So yeah, I'm completely happy with that purchase. I think it works so good. Like, I love it. So to turn the fan on, you press this button right here, which is just airflow. So if I press this button... fan comes on and then to change how fast the fan is going you use these numbers so one is the lowest and six is the highest you can also set it to turn off after a specific amount of time which is what these one hour buttons are for i am not sure what this fr button is for i have to ask bernie about that and then if you want to turn the fan off press fan off And then as far as lighting, of course, there's this on off button. And then these adjust, these buttons adjust either the color of the lighting or um, the brightness. So there's also a night mode, which is kind of like a night light. And that's what that looks like. And then if I want to adjust the lighting up, I'm going to press this button. So it can get brighter and then down for it to get less bright. And then if I want to change the temperature of the lighting, I'm going to press these two. So this is going to make it brighter and this is going to make it more yellow. So now we're going yellow, which is more moody and, you know, better for like nighttime, in my opinion, unless you just want really bright light and then the more white light. And if you turn it to the right, I don't really know what this Wi-Fi setup button is for, but I think it has to do with the app because there is an app you can download and um, maybe that is what that's for. I'm assuming that's what that's for. And then if you just want to turn everything off, you just press all off. So, yeah, that's the way the fan functions. I actually really, really enjoy this fan. I think it's a great purchase. So, yeah, if y'all are interested, it'll be in my Amazon storefront. But I think that's it. I think that was the final the final thing that we got recently. That's home decor. Of course, we get like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. And I did actually just purchase a new cleaning supply, which is I'm going to show you guys later because I need to actually use it to clean my shower. And it's just a um, uh, like a scrubbing brush that I can use in like tubs and showers. It has a telescoping um, handle and I'm going to use that to 
clean that bathroom because they really need it. So we don't need that. Baby, you a godsend, 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 just missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. Put your on my plate, I don't skip the lunch. I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. And we had a close, not a...